What's up guys, my name is Gift and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. On today's episode, we'll be talking about one habit that has changed my life or is changing my life, right? And that's the habit of setting systems rather than goals. Now, in the pursuit of self-development, productivity, time management and all, right? I've come across a lot of mentors, a lot of people that would say, do this, to do this, do this and you get this, right? Now, it's all good. I'm not saying mentors are bad, I'm not saying leaders are bad, I'm not saying speakers are bad, right? But one of the greatest challenge, right, is the process to get into those goals. That, that's why I'm saying it is much more important to set system rather than goals. Now what system would do is, the system will help you throughout the process of getting to those goals and to make the goal enjoyable. Now we have two types of systems, right? We have passive and we have active system. Now passive system are those little habits that will make the goal easy and achievable. Now it could be you wanting to read before you sleep and that's just you keeping a book by your bedside. Now passive habits or passive systems are systems that you don't need a lot of energy, a lot of discipline, a lot of intentions to make them possible. Like just keeping a book by your pillow before you go to bed or just keeping your phone a lot a room away from you before you go to sleep. That's if you want to generate a very good sleeping habit. Now active systems are systems or habits that need a lot of intentional effort like a lot of intentional drive to make them happen so that the goal will be achievable. And that is, for example, you know, want, you wanting to eat healthy, right? Now, you could stop completely going out with cash or stop going completely with cards. No, these are efforts that need a lot of pursuit, a lot of discipline, right? This is also in respect to generating a new habit. Now, there are laws that in the book called Atomic Habits, James Clear had talked about. Now, one of the first laws he talked about is to make the habit obvious. Now, if you want to generate or create a new habit, right? One of the first things to do is write down the list of habits you have already because a lot of us have habits. Write down the list or the scorecard of the habits you have. It could be brushing your teeth when you wake up in the morning. It could be pressing your phone when you wake up in the morning. It could be your exercise. It could be your meditation. But write down the list of the habits you want to create. And then the second thing he talked about was use implementation skills. That is to say, I will brush my teeth by 12 a.m. before going out. Right? Make that habit very, very obvious. Make it something you actually want to do. That's the first law. I also talked about you designing your environment. Now, a lot of us, psychologically, our environment affects our mentality. That is to say, like I said about passive system, you want to read before you go to bed, right? You want to have a good sleeping habit. You don't want to press your phone over the night because you want to sleep comfortably. Now, one of the things you could do, right, is to keep the phone away Keep the phone away from your reach so that that habit will be generated in you. Now, the second law he talked about in generating new habits, right, is to make the habit very, very attractive, right? Now, one of the ways I feel habits can be attractive is to join a culture, is to join a group, or to join a community where the habit you want to portray or that habit you want to develop is a new normal. For example, in school, right? If you want to develop a very good reading culture, a very good habit, now, is to mingle with people that read very well, frequent readers. Now, by the virtue of them reading frequently, you would also begin to read. That is because one of the ways you are making that habit new, the new habit, is by making it attractive, which is you are making yourself in a curve, in a community with a lot of readers. Now, there's something I called motivation ritual that is i love to do something that i know is very interesting before i do something difficult for instance if i want to read i would eat probably chocolate or something sweet right now that motivation ritual is giving me that push that drive towards making this new habit a lot a lot attractive and obvious all right the third law is to make this new habit easy now, a lot of us are struggling with new habits because there's a lot of friction, there's a lot of struggle, there's a lot of 
intentional effort to make that new habit possible. Now, James Clare is saying in his book that you should reduce the friction, that is, reduce the number of stops before your new habit. Now, some of us would love, love to read. We want to develop a very good read habit and probably we use our phone to read. Now, one of the ways you could do those things is to make it easy by downloading those materials you want to read even before turning on your data. Now, because a lot of us will get notifications and that will be a very big distraction. You want to reply a message before coming back. But no, make that new habit very easy. Now, the fourth law is to make it satisfying. Now, this new habit you want to generate, this new habit you want to make part of your life. One of the ways you can make that possible is to make it very satisfying. That is, give yourself benefits of doing this new habit. Make yourself enjoy the new habit. Make the habit something you will do while you sleep, while you work. Make the habit something you enjoy. If you want to learn, if you want to develop reading habits, you could just be eating while you read. Or you could be using your laptop while you read. You could be listening to music while you read. Motivational speakers and all. And also, ensure you never miss a new habit twice. For instance, if it's probably fitness, right? Never miss it twice. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You can't miss Monday and Tuesday. You can also you can miss Monday, but you can't miss Tuesday and Wednesday. So any new habit you're doing, if it comes to reading also, you never miss it twice. Alright, if you stayed up to this time in this video, I'm sure you liked and enjoyed it. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. My name is Steve. Bye bye. Some people dream of success while you're going to wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible. You should get to the point where anyone else would quit and you're not going to stop there. No, what are you waiting for? Do it!